Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. It is the continuation of uh, biochemistry classes on the topic enzymes. In this video, we shall try to learn about the enzyme substrate interaction and the theories that are proposed in order to explain the enzyme substrate interaction in a biochemical reaction so as to get the product. So according to the mechanism of the enzyme substrate interaction when an enzyme is added to your reaction mixture that is to your biochemical reaction system it get interact with the substrate molecule and the interaction will occur either through covalent interactions or non covalent interactions that is the interactions happening between enzyme and substrate through covalent or non covalent interactions the enzyme will uh, get combined with the substrate molecule and that results in the formation of a transition state and that transition state which is formed by combination of enzyme and substrate will be called as enzyme substrate complex enzyme substrate complex and this enzyme substrate complex which is formed as a transition state will decompose or will break down will decompose or will get to break down so as to produce the product with the regeneration of enzyme and this is the actual reaction pathway in case of enzyme catalyzed reaction that is enzyme will combine with the substrate molecules and the bonding will occur between enzyme and substrate through covalent or non covalent interaction so as to produce a transition state that what we also call it as enzyme substrate complex which upon decomposition produce product by regenerating the enzyme so this is the actual pathway we know between enzyme substrate and product but one question will comes into the mind what is the exact mechanistic pathway that mean what is the actual interaction pathway between enzyme and substrate in developing the enzyme substrate complex and how does that enzyme substrate complex will decompose to give the product in order to know the clear picture of this particular pathway two important theories have been proposed by two scientists the number one is called the lock and key model the first theory is lock and key model and number two is induced fit theory induced fit theory so now we shall try to learn about the details of both lock and key model as well as induced fit theory so first we shall consider about lock and key model so the first one is lock and key model this lock and key model was proposed by the scientist ml fisher Emil Fischer was a scientist who proposed the theory of that is lock and key model for the enzyme substrate interaction in the year of 1894 and according to this lock and key model which was proposed by Emil Fischer towards the enzyme substrate interaction Emil Fischer said that enzymes will be having active sites that we already know and the active site will be rigid i mean the conformation of the enzyme molecule will be having that is the active site of the enzyme will be rigid in its conformation there will be no changes at all and similarly like how the enzyme is having a rigid active sites the conformation of the substrate molecule is also fixed that is it is also having constant shape means it is also rigid 
So according to Locke and Key model, both active site of the enzyme and the substrate structure will be rigid. They won't change at all. They will be having some fixed configuration. So that the substrate molecule for a substrate molecule of a rigid structure, there should be a enzyme which corresponding shape of the active sites. So since both are having rigid structures, the substrate molecule can only bind with such an enzyme molecule which is having the shape of active site which is exactly complementary to the structure of the substrate molecule. Only such a kind of enzymes can bind the substrate molecule so as to form the enzyme substrate complex and which later it uh, decomposes to give the product. That means the shapes of the active site of the enzyme and the shape of the substrate should be exactly complementary to each other. The shapes should be complementary to each other. That is the shapes of the enzyme as well as the shape of the substrate molecule. That we shall show in a simple way. So here is the enzyme which is having a rigid structure. When substrates of rigid conformation approaches the enzyme, since the active sites of the enzymes are having complementary structure to structure of enzyme, so they can easily fit into that so as to form an enzyme substrate complex. And once the enzyme substrate complex is formed, the enzyme will modify the substrate so as to form the newer bonds between the substrate molecule and thus that results in the production of the uh, product material. So that once the product is formed, it will uh, comes out of the enzyme and again the enzyme will take its original position so as to receive the substrates again. We shall move on to the second theory proposed for uh, explaining the enzyme substrate interaction. So we said in case of lock and key model that both the conformations of active site of the enzyme as well as the conformation of the substrate will remain rigid and the enzyme and substrate whose structures whose conformations are exactly complementary to each other they can only interact with each other so as to form a substrate comp substrate enzyme complex which upon decomposition produce the product that we already saw but if you come to the actualness enzyme structure the active site structure the active site conformation of the enzyme is not rigid at all the conformation of the substrate molecule may be rigid but the active site of the enzyme, the conformation of the active site of enzyme is not rigid at all. And by keeping this point in mind, in the year of uh, 1958, a scientist by name Daniel Koshland proposed the induced fit model. And according to this induced fit model, the conformation of the active site of the enzyme is not rigid. When the substrate molecule approaches towards the enzyme, according to the shape or according to the conformation of the substrate molecule which is approaching the enzyme, the substrate will induce the changes in conformation of the active site of the enzyme. As say the substrate molecule will induce the changes in conformation of the active site of enzyme. Active site of enzyme. So the substrate will induce the changes in conformation of active site of the enzyme so that the substrate molecule can easily fit into the active site of the 
enzyme molecule and now the shape or the conformation of the substrate molecule and the shape of the enzyme molecule will assumed or will appear exactly complementary to each other and once the enzyme fit into the enzyme sorry once the substrate fit into the enzyme that reversibly produces the transition state that is enzyme substrate complex which upon decomposition results in the formation of product and the enzyme will get regenerated the enzyme will get regenerate and the regenerated enzyme will have the conformation as how it was before substrate induces the changes in its conformation and that regenerated enzyme is once again ready for receiving the substrate molecule once again so as to form the transition state on decomposition to produce product or it may be products so this is the difference between the lock and key model and induced fit model and based on these two theories we can easily explain the complete mechanistic pathway how actually the interaction will takes place between the enzyme and substrate in developing the products so if you now we shall see how these things will happen uh, that is the changes in the configuration or conformation of the active site of the enzyme and how does the enzyme substrate complex will form how does the substrate will induce the change in the conformation of the enzyme molecule all those things we shall see when an enzyme of particular conformation approached by the substrate substrate will induce the conformation of enzyme at its active site complementary to it so as to form the enzyme substrate complex in which the enzyme will modify the substrate either by breaking or forming the bonds between them so as to produce the products.